what is the volume of a certain rectangular solid? So statement number one tells us that two adjacent sides have areas of 15 and 20. So let's just assume that these are the front and the side, those two. So it means that x times y equals 15 and the height y times z equals 24. And from this, we'd like to be able to figure out what the volume is. Well, the trouble is there are many different combinations. We know the y has to be the same. And so we could have x equals 5, y equals 3, z equals 8, and that would give us one volume. Or we could have y equals 1, x equals 15, z equals 24. That would give us another volume. Those would give us two different volumes. And because we can get two different volumes from those, this statement by itself is insufficient. It does not allow us to answer the volume question. Statement number two tells us merely that two opposite sides of the solid has area 40. So let's assume that this is the bottom and the top. And of course, that would be x times z equals 40. Well, of course, the volume would be xyz. And xyz, of course, we could write that as x times z times y. So that would be 40 times y. But the trouble is because we don't know why, we can't figure out the volume here. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Well, now we combine the statements. And now we can use this great trick, because we know that x times y is 15, y times z is 24, and x times z is 40. So let's just multiply all those together. x times y times y times z times x times z equals 15 times 24 times 40. Now, of course, I'm not going to multiply all that out. I'll just leave it like that. But notice what we get if we combine terms. We get x squared times y squared times z squared equals 15 times 24 times 40. Well, now if we take a square root of both sides, x times y times z equals the square root of 15 times 24 times 40. And this, this product, x times y times z, that's length times width times volume times height. That is the volume. So it means that this expression, that ugly square root expression, whatever that is, that is the volume of the box. So when we combine the two statements, we do have enough information to calculate the numerical value of the volume of the box. And so the answer is C.